call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's your brother Alizar Ben Loya. Um, I'm doing this video to address, uh, namely to address Israel United in Christ. Um, I ain't got at y'all in a minute, so I'm gonna show y'all some love. Um, I keep hearing this ridiculous claim a lot of Israel United in Christ members are making when they see brothers on the streets with various turbans on like it might be a turban like this might be a little different a little more extravagant various headdresses some brothers might just rock a bandana or something to that effect and here Israel the United Christ goes oh you're praying or prophesying with your head covered <clears throat> for guys who claim to be experts and keepers of the law um you sound you don't understand how stupid you sound and I'm just going to come frank, okay? If you want to be emotional about it, be emotional. You guys always talk about the law, the law, the law. The fringes, the fringes, the fringes, this, this, and that. Which is fine. Keep the law. We all need to be keeping the law, right? But when you say that somebody having a turban on is against the law, what you're doing is bearing false witness and proving how inadequately uh, educated you are on the law and in the law let's go to the bible let's start at first corinthians 11 to 4 y'all favorite right every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head hence why brothers rock turbans and headdresses with the crown of the head exposed so your head isn't fully covered you understand because in the law it speaks about turbans and metries and also bonnets, okay, which the bonnet is really a turban. When you look up the word bonnet in the Hebrew, it's a turban. Okay, let's go here to the law. In the book of Exodus, that's the law. That's the Torah for you IUIC law experts, okay? Starting at verse 6 here in Exodus 29. And thou shalt put the metri upon his head. So it is a commandment to put a metri on the priest's head and put the holy crown upon the metri. Okay, so that's a commandment. So if you want to keep the law, you rock Demetri if you're a priest. That's the law. An Aaronic priest, a Levitical priest, keeps a Mitri on his head. So you're telling me that because Paul said this in 1 Corinthians, that means that the priests of Aaron were going off? Are you crazy? No, you're not understanding what Paul is saying. He's talking about the crown of your head being covered. What proves it is the fact that it is a commandment that a priest wear a Mitri. The Lord will not command you. Matter of fact, let's get it. Here in the book of Sirach. Y'all just got to do better, man. This is really crazy. I can't even believe I'm having this conversation right now. I can't even believe y'all come with this. This is ridiculous. This is, a, I mean, for guys, I mean, you don't <coughs> want to go into the Hebrew. You don't want to do, I mean, I guess they're going into the Hebrew now, okay? But they don't want to admit the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. And now, now apparently, if you rock a Mitri or, you know, any type of thing on your head, even though the top of your head ain't covered, you might just be wearing a bandana around your around your forehead. And, you know, now it's a problem. Now it's wicked. So, you guys are erring not knowing the scripture. Stop doing that, man. Okay? Because you're just making yourself look stupid and making yourself, really exposing yourself for... Um, you know how unskilled you are in the scriptures. This is a rock 15 and 20 here in the Apocrypha. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. So the Most High has never commanded to do wickedly. Okay? Neither hath he given any man license to sin. The Lord doesn't give license to sin. So if it's a commandment to put a meteor on your head, but putting a meteor on your head is dishonoring your head, then you're saying that the Lord commanded the priest of Aaron to do wickedly, which is totally untrue. And totally makes no sense. So y'all want to talk about the law right here in Exodus. Let's start back from the top. Exodus 29 and 6. And thou shalt put the metri upon his head. And put the holy crown upon the metri. What is a metri? It is something that you wrap around your head. Okay. Verse 7. Then shalt thou take the anointing oil and pour it upon his head. And anoint him. Why? Because the top of his head is uncovered. This proves it. Because the oil was put... Be, being poured upon his head, though he has a metri, because the metri is around his forehead and the sides of his head, but the top of his head is uncovered, and that's where you put the oil at. All right? Is it making sense? Are you getting it? This is the law. This is Hebrew 101. Okay? Verse 8. 
and thou shalt bring his sons and put coats upon them, and thou shalt gird them with girdles, Aaron and his sons, and put bonnets on, on them, which the word bonnets in the Hebrew is turban, okay? So it is, it is, it's an additional headpiece, okay, all right, a headdress. And the priest's office shall be theirs for a perpetual statue. So this is a perpetual, meaning an infinite, everlasting, never-ending statue we're reading about here, okay? And thou shalt consecrate Aaron and his sons. Let's go further into the law. Let's go to the book of Leviticus, the 8th chapter 13 verse. And Moses brought Aaron's sons and put coats upon them and girded them with girdles and put bonnets or turbans upon them as the Lord commanded Moses. So it was a commandment for metries and turbans to be placed upon the heads of the priests. So how is a brother wearing a metri or a turban or a bandana wicked or dishonoring their head when it's part of the laws, statutes, and commandments which you claim to follow oh so earnestly. It's not just fringes. Okay, the priest had to wear a turban and or metri. All right, we're reading it right here in the law. Is that dishonoring their head? No, because the top of their head was uncovered in order for the oil to be poured upon it for the anointing. All right, it's very clear. This is just three scriptures. Let's read the fourth and final one to drive the point home. This is Ezekiel 44 and 18. Ezekiel the 44th chapter is dealing with prophecy, future prophecy of the kingdom, okay? They shall have linen bonnets upon their head. Again, that word bonnet in the Hebrew is turban, all right? Linen bonnets upon their head, and shall have linen breeches upon their loins. They shall not gird themselves with anything that causeth sweat. So this is talking about in the kingdom, all right? You see that? Linen bonnets, turbans, all right? It's very simple. What, so what you need to start being is so simple that you can't understand something that's simple like the law the law is plain the law is not all this literal and allegory and open for interpretation the law say what it say and it say the priest shall rock Dimitri and or turban period therefore what Paul said here couldn't have been, have been talking about that so when you see brothers wearing you know this or various things similar to it again whether it be a bandana or a different form of a metri, as long as this Top of his head is not covered, okay, for the anointing, then you're not dishonoring your head, okay? It's all a part of the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It is a part of our heritage. You claim that you are coming back to our heritage, that you are following our laws, you're doing this and that. Well, guess what? This is a part of it. Learn it, know it, understand it, and get right. And with that, again, call Halal Yahweh.